So I wanted to share something with you because um, I had an encounter with the Lord seven months ago and I was in heaven and my family was there and we're all in white robes and we everybody's seen like thousands, thousands of people, I can't even count them. And we've seen Jesus coming and he was dressed and prepared and I seen him coming and I had never seen Jesus like this before. I, I was scared because he I just knew he was so sad about something that he was filled with wrath and anger from what had happened, but I didn't know what happened. And Jesus was coming and he was coming by us and everybody kept saying to me, go ask him what happened, go ask what's going on. And so I went up behind him and I reached out and I grabbed his shoulder as he's passing me. And I said, Jesus, but he didn't flinch. He didn't turn around, he didn't say nothing. He was set, his mind was set. He, nothing was going to change his mind. Nobody was going to convince him otherwise. He had made a decision. And he walked through a doorway and walked up to a podium and he was going to make an announcement. When I woke up, I didn't hear the announcement, what was happening, what was going on. I just seen Jesus and he was ready for battle. He was jacked. He was muscular. He had warring angel wings on. And I knew he was coming soon to bring justice and vengeance and wrath. And, but I didn't know what was going on. For seven months, I didn't know what was going on. And then what happened? Praise be to the Lord our God, Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Hallelujah. October 7th happened and I find out what's going on in Israel in the days after that. And then I found out all about what happened, how how from the very beginning, you see, I never knew this. I was in a Zionist church for over eight, nine years. And I didn't know. No one told me in that whole time when we're praying for Israel all the time and how we're blessing Israel and how the Israel is just this beacon of, you know, beacon of hope, I guess. I don't know how, how else to describe it. And, um, I mean, I, I left that church a couple of years ago because, because the Lord told me to, but I never really knew why. And then, and then this happens and I find out all this information, how they pre-planned to go in there and displace up to five, six million people. They kicked them out and take their land and houses. And if they didn't leave, they would kill them all. It was pre-planned when they sent um, the Jewish Zionists back to Israel. And then I thought, yeah, but you know what? If God wants them to kill and kick them out because they're wicked people, then that's what will happen. But I searched the scriptures and I couldn't find anywhere in the scriptures where Jesus is going to come back and help the Jewish people or even the that the Lord is going to send the Jewish people back again to take the land. There is no scriptures. Yes, there's scriptures that they will be in the land, but it says in Zechariah that they're evil people. It says in the book of Revelation that Israel is the oppressor of Egypt and Sodom. So my eyes were open. And I was so sad and so mad sadder and madder than I've ever been in my life. And then it hit me. I felt that before, it was terrible. It's the feeling I had when I seen Jesus that night. It was so sad and so full of wrath. I had never felt that in my entire life except on that dream and that night. And it happened to me again. And I knew Jesus was speaking to me. Hallelujah. And then he spoke to me after and said, I'm coming to kill the oppressor and bring justice. So he'd give me peace. Saints, you need to repent. The Bible says in 2 John chapter 1, verse 11, that if you give help and you side and you wish somebody Godspeed and you cheer them on and they're doing evil, you're going to pay for that evil that they're doing. That you are a conspirator and just as guilty as the one doing the crime. If I say, here's a hundred bucks, go rob that house. I know you're going to go rob that house and I provide you with money to go do it or 
uh, vehicle to go do it, just as guilty. Don't side with evil. Repent. Repent now. It's your only shot. Jesus come back soon, and he's going to kill and destroy everybody who's destroying the earth and killing each other. You don't want to side with those people. Repent in Jesus' name.